Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I have two out of the three new Hourglass. These are the holiday palettes for 2022. Official name is Ambient Lighting Edit unlocked palette. So I picked up Elephant and I picked up Butterfly. The reason why I didn't pick up Tiger, I almost did, but I kind of felt like that was going to be a little too deep for my skin tone. I thought both of these color stories would be perfect matches for me. Now, an interesting thing about these palettes, which, which I haven't seen in Hourglass palettes before, um, they allowed you to pick the actual palette, meaning like the packaging, and then you could customize your color story. Now, not customize as in you're picking each of the six shades, but customize uh, as in maybe you wanted the tiger packaging, but with the elephant shades, or maybe you wanted the butterfly palette with the elephant shades or the tiger shades, vice versa. And so that is available right now on their website. These little beauties are not cheap. They are $85 a piece. I almost didn't order. Um, this is the first time that I pick up one of these six pan palettes. Um, I've picked up some of the three pans. I have a four pan, but I've never taken the plunge. I've never splurged on the six pan, let alone two of them in one, one holiday season. So I'm taking one for the team. I have this YouTube channel. I try out new makeup. A lot of you are interested in these. At least I hope you're still interested in them because... I paid a lot of money to get these and try these out for you guys here today. Um, let me show you the color story of the Elephant palette. Like the packaging, guys, is really pretty. And I do want to mention that 5% of the proceeds uh, from the sales of all these uh, palettes, they do go to benefit the Non-Human Rights Project, which, which is like a, a wildlife and animal conservation um, charity. I'll have some of the details in the description box in case, you know, you want to reference that or you just want to read up about it. But here is what the Elephant palette it looks like. Now this palette contains four new shades and two pre-existing shades. Now the two pre-existing shades are these two at the top. This one is soft light and then this one is dim light and these are both finishing powders. This shade right here is called strobe light. This is one of the new highlighter shades. They are two new blushes as well. This one is called radiant rose and the one in the middle this one is called iridescent coral which I think this one looks really pretty. They both look really pretty and then the bronzer which is down here this one is called Illustrious Bronze Light. I will admit, I really do like the Hourglass bronzers. Right now, I just have a mini one, and I have a bronzer in the four pan palette that I have. I'm going to be giving you guys some dupes alternatives to these towards the end of the video. Don't worry. But this palette does contain four new shades and two pre existing shades. Now, here is the Butterfly palette. Same setup. We do get the mirror and then we get our six shades. Now in this particular palette, there are only three new shades and it is uh, these three right here. So the two new blushes and the new highlighter. These other shades right here that are finishing powders and highlighters as well, those are pre-existing shades. So let's start with the new blush shade right here. This shade is called Soft Flush. Right below that, this highlight is called Celestial Strobe Light and then the blush next to it is Sunset Glow. This one up here is called Incandescent Light. This is also a highlighter and then next to it down here is Ethereal Light. That is a finishing powder and then right below that is Diffuse Light which is also a finishing powder. Those final three, the ones right over here, those are pre-existing and then the other three over here are new to the palette. So we're gonna go through guys. I'm gonna be swatching these for you before I begin applying them to my face. I'll use butterfly on the right, I'll do elephant on the left, but I wanna live swatch them. That way we can see, you know, comparisons, help you make a good buying decision because I know you're not gonna buy all three. You're not even gonna buy two. At most you'll buy one. And I think 
even buying one, I mean, that's a hefty price tag, guys. I think they should be going to Sephora, so maybe you're going to want to hold out for that VIB sale to get 20, 15, or 10% off. Any percentage off would be great, but I'm not 100% sure that these are going over there yet. I'll have some details in the description box. Um, and then after I get done applying them to my complexion, I'll give you guys some dupes alternatives of things that you might already have in your stash. And just keep in mind, guys, out of both of these palettes that I have, there's only six new shades so six out of 12 half okay in the tiger palette I want to say there was either three or four new shades there was no more than four new shades in one palette so if it is your first time here on my channel I think you picked a pretty good video I think you picked a pretty good video to tune into I don't do I want to say this up front um I don't do a lot of luxury makeup reviews I mean I, I buy what I can I buy what my budget allows me to to review and to get for you guys but I will say you see a lot more like maybe just high end drugstore and indie on my channel but what you always see on my channel are the latest and greatest makeup reviews because I love trying out new makeup and this was my splurge this was one of my splurges for the month of September I splurged three times already this month and we're not even halfway over yet hmm. so if you like new makeup reviews if you like multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes if you just like a good old makeup ranking video makeup discussion this is the place for you do me a favor and click on the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video and if you like what you see if you are a fan of hourglass or you're just wanting some dupes alternatives or you're just want to have fun and watch me put on makeup then be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go as usual I will have everything that I'm wearing linked and listed in the description box everything I'm discussing will be linked there some of those links might be affiliate links and if you do end up shopping through them I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel let's dive on into it guys if you all want to see these new holiday palettes from hourglass swatched applied duped keep on watching okay guys so here's the elephant palette a little close-up look of it so these two right here are going to be the pre-existing finishing powders so i'm going to go ahead and start off with those so this shade right here this one is dim light now these finishing powders are exactly what they are you can use this either right after you apply your foundation i like to use these right after i've applied all of my complexion products like blush bronzer highlight these aren't going to be a highlighter like you'll see when we get to the highlighters those are going to be blinding because hourglass makes some really nice highlighters but the finishing powders are just to kind of give a very soft glow to the complexion and i am a normal to oily skin type and i've never had any issues with the finishing powders causing excess oiliness um, they all look really really nice this next shade is called soft light this is also another finishing powder pre-existing these are going to be hard to see because they are more so my skin tone, but that's the first one and that's the second one there. I know it's difficult to see. Next up is the first new shade and this one is called Beaming Strobe Light. This is a highlighter shade. Look at that, that's beautiful. That will look beautiful on a medium skin tone, maybe even a deeper skin tone just not my skin tone. <laughs> I think that would leave somewhat of a cast, but we're going to try it. We'll see. So next up is the bronzer shade, the new bronzer, which I'm very excited about. This one is called Lustrous Bronze Light. This does have a little bit of a sheen to it. That's what I like about hourglass bronzers. Most will have or provide a nice glow. Now let's look at these two new blushes. So the one in the middle, this is Incandescent Coral, new shade. I'll do the blushes down here. So there's Incandescent Coral, a beautiful glowy blush. Love that. 
Now this next one is Radiant Rose, another new shade. Let me do that one right up here. Look at my hand, how glowy it is. All right, guys, so new shade, new shade, new shade, new shade pre-existing over here, but you can see the difference between the two finishing powders, the highlighter, the two blushes, and the bronzer. So guys, that's the Elephant Palette Swatched. I feel like we've seen this color story though from Hourglass before. In my opinion, this kind of feels like some of the older palettes. I want to say they started doing these holiday palettes around 2016. Um, so a lot of you definitely have, you know, your favorites, you've collected them over the years, but I feel like we've seen this color story before, even though it has four new shades, but this is the elephant palette. Now we're going to start swatching the butterfly. Okay, so here is the butterfly palette a little bit up close, closer than what I showed you earlier. Again, the new shades are going to be these three right here. So two blushes and one highlighter. This particular palette um, does not contain a bronzer. I'm a little disappointed with that. I would have liked to have seen a bronzer. I think they all should include a bronzer, but this one does not. So this first powder that I'm going to swatch for you guys, this one is called Ethereal Light. This is a finishing powder. So don't know how well it's going to show up on the back of my hand, but I think you can see it right there. I feel like this one has a bit more of a glow than the other two in the elephant palette. Next up is incandescent light, and this is a highlighter. They call them strobe powders. You can definitely see the difference between the two. This has way more glow than the finishing powder. Although I think this finishing powder does have a bit more glow than what I'm used to. Now for the first new blush shade in this palette. This one is Soft Flush. I apologize if I'm out of frame. It's just an awkward filming position for me. And I'm filming this part with my phone, so forgive anything that's out of focus or not 100% perfect. I think that's a beautiful shade. Okay, now we're gonna go down to Diffused Light. And this is one of the uh, finishing powders. So again, might not show up that well. Put that here. Now we're going to go to the next new blush shade. This one is called Sunset Glow. Ooh, that's like a pretty terracotta. I'll do that one. Let's see, I'll put it right here. See, you can see how these, I mean, these two blushes are very, very similar. This one is a little bit deeper though. I would have liked to have seen a little bit of a difference. And then finally, this new Celestial Strobe Light Highlighter, obviously. We'll put that one down here. Hourglass makes some beautiful highlighters. I mean, stunning highlighters. So here's the Butterfly Palette Swatched. I think it's a beautiful color story. I would have just liked to have seen maybe a bronzer instead of one of the finishing powders or maybe a different, like three really different blushes because I feel like these two are just a little bit too similar, especially for what you're paying for the palette. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna start applying these powders to my face. All right, guys, so we're gonna start first with the elephant palette. And I don't remember if I said I'm doing the elephant on the left, but I'm gonna do the elephant over here on the left and the butterfly on my right. So I'm gonna go in first with 
the only bronzer shade out of these two palettes that I picked up, and it's this one right here. I'm using this little BH Cosmetics brush. This is the emerald brush. Now, once again, I've always had a really good experience with hourglass bronzers. They are going to give a bit of a glow. And I'm actually wearing the new hourglass foundation. That is the foundation that I, I wore to work today. And I really have been enjoying it, in case you're wondering. Just placing this up here. I'm only going to do like that much on the cheek, just because I want to try out the blushes. So here's the bronzer. Perfect. I think it's perfect for somebody with a complexion similar to mine, my skin tone. Um, I think if you have a deeper skin tone, like medium, I don't know how well this would show up on you. And that's the thing with Hourglass. <sighs> Their powder shade range needs some help. You know, they're, they're getting better with the foundation, but the powders, the powders need bronzers and stuff. Those really need some help. Okay, so now I'm going to get get my little, another beach Cosmetics brush. We're going to go in first with the darker blush, which is this one down here. Okay, that looks really pigmented. I'm going to focus that up here. Yeah, there's good, there's good pigmentation on this. So this palette, the Elephant palette, it's going to have more of the pinky tones. And the Butterfly definitely has more orangey coral tones as far as blush. And I like that it's buildable, blendable, and it gives, I mean, it gives a glow all on its own, especially when you mix it with the bronzer to where... You might not even need the finishing powder. Now, don't don't mistake a finishing powder for like a setting powder. It's not going to do that. Like, I don't think I would put any of these finishing powders under my eye area. I think it might just accentuate the fine lines that are under there. But along the perimeter of the complexion, um, I avoid my nose since I'm normal to oily, you know, on my face, my T-zone, the oiliest place. But the perimeter, especially the cheekbones, the chin a little bit, perfect place for um, for finishing powder. So here is the first blush. This is the darker of the two in the Elephant palette. Now I'm going to dip into this one, another BH Cosmetics brush. Ooh, that's pretty. This one has a bit more of a glow to it. I think you can see that. That's pretty. These are pretty. Are they $85 pretty? Oh, I don't know. If you like a glowy blush, I mean, you're going to love these palettes. But yeah, they do coordinate perfectly with one another. I can see a difference between these two, especially like in the finishes. This is, I don't want to say this one's matte, but compared to this second blush, yeah, it's a bit more, it's a bit more subdued as far as um, glow goes. I like that. Now... I I know this this highlighter is not going to work for me. So I hesitate to put it on my cheekbone. What I think I'm going to do instead is I don't have anything on my eyelids. So I think I'm just going to apply that to my eyelids. Just get a little, little brush here. I'm going to go in here. This is a BK A501. Just going to apply to both eyes it's beautiful and you can do this is what you can do like if there's a shade that just you don't like the way it looks on your cheekbones or you can't really you know use it as a highlighter as a blush use it on your eyes because chances are you'll be able to do that it'll look a lot better it's really pretty and on a deeper skin tone the shade would be Perfect as a highlighter. Okay, now for the finishing powder, I think I'm gonna do this darker one. I'm taking this on a refer 05. I'm gonna do a little bit right up here. Now I don't have a bronzer. I forgot about that. I don't have a bronzer in the other palette, so I probably should just take the bronzer above. And I'm gonna do this one down here. I'm going to do the lighter one 
And it's hard to see these. Like this is almost something that you're gonna just have to really notice in person, the finishing powders, but they are beautiful and they do blur and they do just do something special for the complexion. They add that bit of like diffused light. And that's exactly what they're supposed to do. Okay guys, so here is the elephant palette. Everything on the left side, I do. I will add the bronzer. Let me do that right now. And then um, we'll jump into the butterfly palette. All right, now let's move into the butterfly palette. So I'm gonna start first with the two blushes. And I think I'm gonna start first with this blush up here. I'm using a Refer 04. I did apply a little bit of the bronzer, same place the way I did over here on the left. Beautiful pigmentation. So this one also, it has, there is a slight glow, but I feel like this is gonna be the more matte of the two. And I'm glad that there's like two different finishes. Now I'm gonna take my Lunar Beauty brush, picking up a little bit of that middle shade. Wow. Okay, I need to take some off the back of my hand. These blushes in this palette are definitely deeper than the ones in the Elephant palette, at least that's my impression. And so it kind of makes you wonder, like if they're putting a light bronzer, a light blush, but a dark highlighter, which was what the Elephant palette was, and then in this palette they're putting two deeper blushes with lighter finishing powders, lighter highlighters, like I feel the that could have been rearranged. And, and that's the part that I thought you could do that. I thought you could just pick and choose and curate your own palettes on the Hourglass website, but it's just, you pick the packaging and then you pick the preset color story. So again, like I could have the butterfly packaging, but with the elephant color story. So I don't know. I, I think that's new. I don't remember it from others. Okay, but these blushes are beautiful. So definitely this one has a bit more of a glow, I feel, than this one. But I feel like the blush in the Elephant palette definitely had more of a glow, that second blush, than these two. But that's okay, that's okay. We can glow these up with the finishing powders because I felt like these finishing powders were just more glowy than um, the ones that were in the Elephant uh, palette. So now I'm going in with the Nabla highlighter brush and this is the lighter of the two highlighters. So I'm going to apply this one upwards and I'm going to focus this lighter one right in here. That's really pretty. I feel like this is a softer highlight than some of the other ones. I'm just gonna clean off the brush a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this one. Now I'm just gonna go in with one of the blush brushes and just kind of diffuse everything, blend everything. I mean, if there's one thing Hourglass knows how to do, they do have a really nice formula for their powders, that's what they're known for. They're they're made in Italy, but um, you just need to work on the shade range of some of them. Okay, now for finishing powder, let's see. Let me grab one of my Wet n Wild brushes back here. So these are my two finishing powders. I'm gonna go in with this one up here. And again, it's going to be hard to see these. You can see them better. I'm going to go in with a lighter one. You can see them better when you're applying them to yourself. Um, I feel like the lights just kind of drown things out. But they also help, like these finishing powders, they also help to kind of just um, take the look down a little bit as far as maybe you went in a little too heavy-handed with the blush or the bronzer. These powders can help kind of tame that. Again, I don't apply these to my nose. I keep them just like to the perimeter of my face, very light, like in the center of my forehead, since that is where I do get oily. But I always do like my, my chin, and I do a little bit right here. I just stay clear of my nose. 
Okay, guys, so this is the butterfly palette over here. You can kind of see where the blush, the blush, I, I went down. I took it down a few notches, so I'm just going to add a little bit more back. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and share with you some alternatives in case these palettes are not going to find their way into your stash. I got you covered. Okay, so we'll talk first about finishing powders. And the one I'm just totally going to recommend, a ride or die. I have a brand new one already in my stash. It is this one, the NYX High Gloss Finishing Powder. You can still find this. It goes in and out of stock only on the NYX website. Only on the NYX website. Not too sure if Beauty Bay has it over there for those of you across the pond. But I have seen this in three different shades on the NYX website. Light, medium, deep, or light, medium, dark. Um, I have the light shade. So I'm gonna show you the one I'm working my way through. This is a beautiful finishing powder, and this is pretty much all you need. You're gonna get, now I keep in mind, like I swatched this because I wanted it to show up, but um, you're gonna get a very soft glow, a very, diffused glow the same thing that the hourglass powders do for you this one from nyx will do the exact same thing and i think i think it is on sale for six dollars six dollars versus 85 dollars i know you're getting six different shades but one of those powders alone is like 30 or 40 some odd dollars so I would definitely check out the high glass finishing powder from NYX. I think it has been discontinued, but again, I've seen it pop in and out on the NYX website. Now, other finishing powders uh, that I really do enjoy, this one from Flower Beauty, this only comes in one shade and it's a very, it's a very light shade. This is definitely going to give you like that candle light glow to the complexion and this is the Miracle Glow Finishing Powder. You can find this pretty much wherever Flower Beauty is sold. I love the matte version of this powder and I love the glow version, which is the one I just showed you. Um, this is available also at Ulta, so I definitely recommend checking this one out. So another one of my favorite finishing powders, glowy, very glowy finishing powders, is this one from Huda Beauty, and this is the Glowish Powder. I don't put this anywhere near my nose. None of these finishing powders go near my nose. But everywhere else, um, I would say this one, out of all of the ones that I've tried, including the Hourglass ones, this one gives you like a little bit of coverage. I think it's intended to be like a powder foundation or like a light powder foundation, but I don't use it that way. I use it as a finishing powder and it is beautiful. This just does something really nice to my complexion. I know not everybody, you know, got on board with this. Not everybody liked it, but this has worked so well for me. Stay away from your nose with this one, but definitely put this on your cheekbones, on the forehead. This is a nice one, a very nice one from Huda Beauty. Um, one other finishing powder. Oh, so this is also a really good one, but it's also from Hourglass. And this is a very expensive one. I think this one alone is 48 bucks, 50 bucks. This is the Infinity Finishing Powder, Ambient Light Infinity Powder. This only comes in one shade. And I remember when it was released, there were um, people with more of like a medium to deeper skin tone. This just gave them a gray cast. For me, that I'm a fair to light skin tone, this works beautifully on my complexion. Um, I kind of hate that I love it, but and this is this is a beautiful powder. I think out of all the finishing powders I've ever tried, including the NYX one, including the other ones from Hourglass, this is my favorite. But if you're looking to splurge on something and these palettes, these new holiday palettes from Hourglass just aren't doing it for you, and you're a similar complexion skin tone to mine, this one, this one, Infinity Powder from Hourglass. This is this is a really nice one. Now for bronzers, I would say if you're looking for a glowy bronzer, which is kind of what you're getting like in the Elephant palette, I just tried this one out from Tarte. And this is the um, Tarte Shape Tape Glow Bronzer. 
and it's exactly what it says it is. It is a glowy bronzer. Also, Too Faced. Too Faced just released their natural bronzer that does have a bit of a radiance to it. Both of those, both of these are really pretty. The Tarte one, the, the Too Faced one, and I believe Milani. Milani has a baked bronzer that will give you that glow. But I know not everybody is a big fan of like glowy bronzers. So that's why I don't have too many dupes to recommend to you guys. But if you want something that's like all inclusive, that is going to be like your one and done face palette. This one from Physicians Formula, this was released earlier this year, the Butter Dream Team palette. In this palette, you get two bronzers. You get the matte bronzer and you get the original Physicians Formula bronzer. You're getting a finishing powder as well. This finishing powder doesn't really give off a glow the way the hourglass finishing powders do. So if that's something that you're looking for, if you don't want like any glow from the finishing powder, this might be an option. And to my knowledge, these shades are sold individually as well. But this whole pack up right here, I think you get this for like $16 or $18. You have a blush, two different blushes right here and of course you have a highlighter I took this with me on vacation this summer and I loved it it was like my one and done face palette and you can find this on the physicians formula website I think you might even be able to find it like at Target or Walmart so this is a nice one to check out in case you're wanting like a more like all-in-one type of palette this would probably be your best bet as would I have a couple others the Jaclyn cosmetics ones um, this is her blush bronzer duo and these are nice. Maybe you don't need the highlighter. Maybe you have enough highlighters. Maybe you want your multi and duochrome highlighters, but you still want to have something similar to the hourglass, like similar to the formula, similar to the shades and stuff. Jaclyn, these palettes come in several different shades. I want to say there's like five or, or six different shades to choose from. The one I have here is Sunkissed and Bronzed Moment. I love it. Uh, this is a nice palette. The packaging on it is really nice as well. Um, one that I recently tried from Tarte, this one right here, this is one that they just came out with. This is the Clay Play to Go palette. So in here, you're getting a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And I would say the bronzer is more of like a natural finish bronzer to where you are going to get a bit of a glow from it. This is definitely a glowy blush and of course a really pretty highlighter. I've been enjoying this one from Tarte and I want to say this retails for, gosh, is it 21, 28? It's a very inexpensive palette. For tart standards you do get a mirror and it's just something different it's something different to where if you're not going to be able to spend the 85 you can spend like 25 and get some similar shades to what you'd find in the hourglass palettes and then last but not least guys if all you want is a glowy blush Steph just give me a glowy blush that's it look no further and I'm not gonna recommend anything else other than Milani Milani has the best glowy blushes and these are their baked blushes the shade i have here is uh corolina this is a beautiful shade similar to one of the ones in the um hourglass palette in the butterfly palette and then the other shade i have here this one is sunrise serenita look at how beautiful that is such a beautiful orange shade perfect for year round, but especially like going into fall. This other one I pulled, this one is Bellissimo Bronze. And these blushes, they're just, they're glowy goodness. You cannot go wrong. These are like less than $10. Glowy blush and even bronzer because they make a bronzer, the same formula. Milani at the drugstore has got you covered. All right, guys, so that wraps up today's video. We covered quite a lot, didn't we? But I hope that I was able to help you guys make a good buying decision when it comes to these two palettes from Hourglass and even the third one, the Tiger one, which I wasn't able to pick up. But look in your stash, see what you have. I've given you some alternatives and some dupe recommendations. You might already have all of the shades that are in all three palettes lingering in your collection you just got to look through it you just got to look through it um if you're a fan of hourglass then these palettes are probably already in your stash or they're on their way to you as we speak in my opinion yes these are beautiful palettes 
I'm glad that I have them. I will be using them a lot because I paid a lot of money for them. Do you need to run out and buy them immediately? That's going to depend on you. I will say the formula is really nice. I think Hourglass just has a good formula in general, but is it worth the $85 price tag? Um, I'll be honest, if I didn't have this YouTube channel, I wouldn't have bought either of them and I would have just waited to get at least one during the Sephora VIB sale. Hopefully they are going over there. They should be going over there. And I think out of the two, I would have gone with the elephant. I feel like this palette just has a little bit like everything in one. You know, I get the bronzer, the highlighter, the beautiful blushes, the finishing powder. Actually, the highlighter should say I'm not going to be able to use that on my cheekbones, but I do have it on my eyes. Um, I just feel like this is something I feel like I'm going to get more use out of this one than the butterfly one. Um, but who knows? I mean, I could prove myself wrong. This is a beautiful color story as well. The blushes are deeper in tone. It's just going to be whatever jumps out at you the most and whatever, you know, shades you feel that you're going to have more use out of in your collection, then just go that route. But please don't let FOMO get the best of you on, on these palettes. They are pretty pricey. And um, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you already ordered these or if you're going to be ordering them or maybe you're gonna get some of my dupe alternative recommendations i'd love to hear from you guys let's get the conversation started sound off in the comments down below let me know which palette was your favorite i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water cheers i'll see you all very soon bye